Good day ladies and gents, I just woke up, BG rolled the patch out and it's time to make a YouTube video. So I'm gonna go through the changes, I'm gonna read them out loud and whenever I see the very interesting ones I'm gonna comment them and share my opinion on them, so let's get straight into it. Alright, we present Escape from Tarkov.1302 patch notes. Adjusted the server system to reduce the rubber banding and the sync on the streets of Tarkov. That's good. Hopefully we can play streets now and we won't be teleporting around. I've had pretty good raids on streets recently and I haven't much I haven't had much rubber banding. However, I've seen Landmark have an insane amount of rubber banding yesterday and he couldn't even leave the raid. So that's getting fixed. Numerous geometry and lighting fixes in streets of Tarkov. Uh, hopefully leading to a better optimization and better frames. Let's see how that works. Fix the issue that led to duplication, stuttering and lack of sub sounds with binaural audio. Alright, binaural is getting uh, fixed. Maybe I should give binaural a try, I haven't played with binaural this wipe. Maybe it's worth giving it a try now. Fix missing sounds of airplanes and airdrops. Fix missing sounds of weapon interactions when the volume of interface sounds is set to zero. Fix missing bush, bush and container search sounds with binaural audio enabled. Fixed incorrect volume of footstep sounds during crouched and standing movement. Fixed incorrect gym behavior in the hideout with third party overlays. Fixed incorrect duration of the muscle pain status. Fixed incorrect weapon sounds for Rhino, RH12, Benelli, AXMC, SR2, M203 Underbarrel Grenade Launcher and GP25 Underbarrel Grenade Launcher. Fixed incorrect weight for several items. Fixed incorrect durability of weapons on rogue bosses. Fixed incorrect conditions for the unlocking of customization options for Ragman. Okay. Fixed incorrect calculation of skills and quest rewards. This is good. We were not able to get 3 levels of sniping for paying 50,000 euros. And I also think Shooter Born in Heaven wasn't given enough points. So that's fixed. Good. Fixed the ability to apply the effects of some consumables without losing them. Hmm. Fix the inability to level up skills above level 50. I know metabolism was glitched for many people and lots of people came to my chat and asked me like Yo Axel, my metabolism is at level 50 and it doesn't level up any further, didn't know anything about this. So there we go, now it should level up to level 51. Fix several visual artifacts on streets of Tarkov location. I personally haven't seen any artifacts. Artifacts is like when you look at a distance and something doesn't render correctly, for example you've got like a random object in the air which shouldn't be there. I haven't seen anything like this. Fix incorrect player spawn positions on streets of Tarkov, alright. Spawn changes. Fix incorrect conditions for Jaeger to buy weapons from players. Fix the incorrect tooltip of unsellable items when switching between screens. Fix incorrect visuals of NVGs and thermals when changing screen resolution and switching to full screen mode. Fix the lack of durability loss when repairing with some weapon repair kits. Fix the incorrectly working D2 to exit on reserve location. This is good, lots of people were confused by D2. Finally it's getting fixed. Fix the soft lock that appeared while interacting with some weapons. Fix the incorrect calculation of the physical skill level bonus from the air filtering unit in the hideout. So right now we will have to use air filters to actually get the bonus. Fix the incorrect skill point calculation when using the gym in the hideout. Okay. Fix several bugs in the dialogue system when interacting with Lightkeeper. Ooh, I wish I wish I got that far. <laughs> Fix incorrect spawns for rogues. Fix incorrect display for objectives of all Lightkeeper quests while in raid. Fix incorrect positions of Zerachi's guards. Fix the incorrect behavior in the co-op mode settings interface when sw switching between the screens. Fix the missing localization of some interface elements while in raid. Added new 556 muzzle brake. Hmm. Fix incorrect camera behavior while aiming with Chapo Rhino 200 DS. Alright, I went through the items and I couldn't find any of the new muzzle brakes. So if you did manage to find a new muzzle brake, let me know down in the comments below. And more or less we're done with this video, sorry for being a bit uh, sleepy. I hope you enjoyed listening to my comments. And yeah, I th maybe, I'm, maybe I'm gonna go back to sleep. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.